I barely can talk today. Um, how about those lady balls? I, uh, I, I have never seen a team more focused on winning a championship. They, uh, in the locker room, you could feel it. Uh, my assistants had pretty much told me I didn't have anything to worry about. Uh, of course, I was a nervous wreck. The game got started. Uh, once I saw our commitment to playing probably the best defense we've ever played in the Final Four, more balance offensively. I think Shannon and Alberta came out right off the great run. One player that's not here, obviously she was at the draft, we'll talk about that in a second, but Nikki and Sicky, if she had had I don't know if you read, she said if we hadn't won, she would have to, she was going to live in Tampa. <laughs> she said if they didn't win a national championship, she couldn't go back home. And her focus, her leadership, um, just was tremendous. And for, uh, obviously, Candace to be able to play through the adversity that she played through was certainly impressive. And Alexis, obviously, Alexis is Alexis. Um, <laughs> shoot a BB in the ocean, but um, at the end of the game, she tips in the winning basket, so. Uh, and then obviously, we got some great play off the bench, and really, really proud of, of how our bench responded, and obviously, Vicki Ball had, had a particularly strong night. with uh, Vicki and, and Alex and obviously um, Angie and Sydney and then you look at uh, two young ladies that set out this year. Um, I know Kate's probably chomping at the bit to play. Look at that name. <laughs> and Kelly Kane and they were awesome on the bench and great cheerleaders. And we, we really Because these people work with me every day. They're loyal. They're hardworking. Obviously, Betsy is new to our program. Uh, Elizabeth is um, our GA. I want to say something about Danielle as my director of basketball operations. She uh, she is going to be leaving our program. She, like our, um, our players, would be going to the WNBA, to the Atlanta Dream. So we wish, wish Danielle all the best. That's a great opportunity for Danielle. Also, I, uh, I do want to mention um, Bruce Pearl and his staff and the great support that they have given us. Um, I will, uh, I'll tell you, it's, it's never been better here for basketball and the basketball programs. And thanks to Bruce, he's changed the whole atmosphere. I, I appreciate it. I got a call from him yesterday, and I appreciated the fact that he was willing to tell me exactly what I needed to do. So, <laughs> Of course, I did the same thing when he was in the playoffs. Um, just a couple more things about our players. Um, obviously, to have five or five starters drafted today. That is incredible. That was a historical moment in the WNBA and in the Tennessee program. So, uh, congratulations. So we, we talked last night about, before uh, going out, that these young ladies, if they, they were underdogs. Can you believe ESPN, no one picked us? <laughs> what are they thinking? How about Carol Lawson? <laughs> well, the good thing.
thing is, it motivated us. It took pressure off us because we were in a position to win back-to-back -back national championships and the fact that no one picked our team helped us to realize we were the underdogs, but we left there the top dogs. stand up and, and if you want to come up and say anything here, I knew they'd want to talk. <laughs> you know, I get a lot of credit for what happens here. You heard Jones say, you win in life with people. That's been my philosophy throughout, throughout my life and throughout my career as a basketball coach. I just, I cannot thank Holly and Nikki and Dean enough for the hours they invested In the LSU game, I don't think I called a play. All I did, I was a cheerleader. They told me everything to tell the team to run. And a lot of times I'd say, y'all tell them. Um, but it, because I have so much experience on my staff, and the knowledge and, and, and just the way they manage people in such a positive way, it allows me then to obviously be in touch with what's going on on the floor and with the student athletes, so it's, it's incredible. You know, and I just, uh, I want all of them to know how much I appreciate them and love them. You know, I, uh, I just really blessed in a lot of ways and this is one of them, thank you. Thank you, Pat, we love you too. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to, to, to coach. And uh, we, we love all y'all, it's awesome you came out tonight. And I uh, just want to say one thing, don't ever, ever bet against the Big Orange. We're going to lose. I would just like to echo what Holly just said. It's really this simple. You either roll the Big Orange or you get rolled over. But our fans were passionate and on their feet and gave us a lot of momentum throughout that game, which we managed to win in the closing seconds. Last night, even bigger and better. And I just want to thank all of you. You have put us in a situation this past year to have the largest attendance that we've ever had for a season in women's basketball. You're the best. And obviously, we are looking forward to our next year. I know these players got to get back in class, but uh, we do have a great class coming in. A lot of people think Tennessee's not going to be that good. Don't. You know what? The cupboard is not bare, and help is on the way. All right? the administration, the leadership, Dr. Peterson in athletics, John Cronin and Mike Hamilton and what they do to allow us to do what we do best. So thank you. 